way it goes like that. Yeah, this will locate. Okay, there it goes. Now it's in there. Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. Let's see if I can put this one in there. Put this one in. Okay. Notifications. Wait, what? That was it. Okay, we're reassembling this inverter on the new motor I got from Matt Vay. Just cleaning everything up, make sure the seals are good. And it, you could tell there was a little bit of intrusion. Like, look on, yeah, see where at the seal and surface kind of corroded in, and then it got a little bit underneath the, the rubber. Cleaning that off real good, trying to smooth it back out where it can seal back to. You can see the line where it was. Clean these off, make sure there's nothing on these. This is where the little mm -hmm. heat plate goes. All right, let me wipe this surface off. Make sure there's no little dust. All right, this Tackle. goes. Go pull pull it over a little bit. Let's see which way it goes. Like that. Yeah, this little locator pins. Mm -hmm. Little All right. dial. All right, dial pins. All right, mm -hmm. and then yeah, just just that like way. This. Yeah, just like this. Yeah. That way. Okay, now I gotta do the, uh, the lugs right here. Those are 10 mil. That's these three. Do you wipe them off with the wipe or whatever? Yeah, I guess. There's definitely got to be a torque spec to this. I'd say that they don't move, right? Spec them up. Yeah. Good enough for me. It's been a big job. It's just a bunch of them. Oh. All right, I did forget to uh, put the uh, mounting plate back on here. Let's see, which way does it go? Like that? No. Yeah. If we get the nose of both of them in there, it's over good. Oh, it's got to do that one. Okay. 
this one. Alright, I definitely need to hit that with a little bit more meat. I think. This here. Wait, did that go down? We were briefly talking about what we're planning on doing. Um, I'm going to connect this one long coolant line to the to the. Uh... So yeah, I just put a zip tie on this one right here, and then I repaired that one with another zip tie that I can just pull down and tighten that one up. I'll kind of guide it. Mm -hmm. It needs to come this way a little little bit. Push it forward or something. Okay, well, yeah. and then that's about where it needs to go. Okay, we're trying to get it in this socket right here in between the, the battery and the frame. Um, yeah, go up a little bit. Okay. We're shooting from my or yours. It, it, well, it, um, that's about you right there. All right, let's slide good. it forward. A little bit more. Jack it up. Okay. We're down. All right. I'm not all the way down. Can we go all the way down? Huh? I think we need to let the motor down. Let's see if I can put this bushing in there now. Almost needed. Yeah. Might barely grab on that one. Uh, just push as much as you can. It's going. It's going. Deeper going. All right. I'm good where I'm at. Up, oh, you got to whip. Oh, 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 it fell out. Hold on. All right, keep, keep going to this so I can get this screw in. Oop, that's, that's it, that's it. Don't move, don't move. All right, I got a thread. Let me go get the other side. I think we got it, boys. Oh yeah, they going in by finger. Crying now. Get to the other side. And then plug this one in. Okay, clip it. Damn, I can almost barely pull this thing in. Clip it, and then this other one is for the oil pump. Wait, did I clip it? Yeah, I guess I did. All right, where are we at on battery? Come on, man. Oh, whatever. Yeah, it's gonna be catching a lot of air. You gotta work a lot of air out of this thing. Yeah. Okay. It's plugged in. I'd, I'd like it to not care. That would be really nice. Be really nice if it just if it just whoa oh yeah that was because of that spinning yeah notifications wait what 
incompatible drive system software detected. That's impossible. Alright, let me show y'all under here. I had to uh, pull this stator rotor sensor out. This guy right here. It's hard to see. But yeah, it's on the end cap right there. And you just have enough room to change it out if, if you have the same issue. But apparently, you can't mix match those or something. Oh, hold on. Let me just uh, exit service. Service. Notifications. Okay, it's gone. Okay, see if it pops back up. That was it. Sweet. We are back in business, boys. Had I had a motor on hand, which which I did, um, off the of the COD that I was using for parts car for this one. Um, this this has been a hell of a week. Um, I didn't know this was going to happen, so it threw me for a loop. You know, car's got a hundred thousand miles on it. We put 80,000 miles on it since I rebuilt it, and this just random motor failure happens. So, needless to say, along with me trying to finish rebuilding this one, which my panels are almost painted, uh, Matt's back so he can help me put the glass in, I just need to assemble this car, and it's done. It's, it's done. I mean, there's a little touch up here and there, and um, maybe a little fit and finish we got to deal with, but it's pretty much done. I could have used the drive unit that I have for the car that I was using to repair this one, but I didn't want to have to deal with taking that thing out, literally having to bring that other car in here, move this one out, have these cars side by side, drop this, you know, drop this one out, um, drop that one out, take the, uh, the drive unit out, put it in this one, put it back up, and then I got a car that won't drive, so I'd have to take the broken one, put it back in this one, and then drive it out. That, that was just, no, I didn't want to do that. So I left that one, it's still got its mode, it's still driving, it's still a parts car. Thanks to Matt Vay, if it wouldn't have been for him, I, I wouldn't have fixed this thing so quick. N definitely not as easy, because I just took a little trip up there, one, you know, one day running, picked it up, brought it back, put it in. Next day I'm done, you know, no huss, no fuss. And now my wife can go back to driving my car again for work. And we got a new Model Y coming this week. Can't wait to show you all that one. Thanks for watching. All right, let's take it for a little test drive. Still got to fix my tire pressure sensors. I changed my tires, but I didn't rotate the sensors to the other uh, set of tires. Thought they would auto calibrate, but they don't. I mean, the wife's already driven for a week and had zero issues. The car it's running really good. That, that rear wheel drive, man, it don't play. It's got a lot of power. No slip at all. I mean, it doesn't handle as well as the all-wheel drive, but and it burns the tires a little bit more. Let's say, well, your rear your rear tires are going to be cut your lifespan in about half. So instead of forty thousand miles, you only get about twenty thousand miles before they need to be replaced. But that's if you don't rotate them. If you rotate them, you'll get about thirty. <laughs> 